Hello there and welcome to another episode of World of Tanks at Ungani Titan. We're here in Live Oaks and I'm in the M103, I'm top tier, uh, American heavy tank. Tier 9 and I'm going to go to the town, I think uh, the optimal route for heavy tanks. On, um, well armoured tanks really, is um, heading for the town. I think if you can win the town you can uh, control the battlefield on live oaks more efficiently than in any other uh, route. This is also the kind of consensus play among what passes for expert opinion as far as I can determine in World of Tanks. However, a lot of players don't actually like doing it. Uh, quite often you'll be playing in World of Tanks on live oaks and the majority of the team will actually head down the railway line or if they're in the southern spot they'll head up the railway line. I think the problem with the railway line is essentially it's a corridor fight. Uh, now, a lot of players I think seem to like the corridor fight because they don't have to worry about their flanks. It kind of reduces the number of things they have to pay attention to. The problem is, of course, that it's harder to win a co um, corridor fight. It requires a pretty well armoured tank. And the terrain down by the railway line favours tanks and strong turrets and good gun depression. Also, the terrain. Um, now there's no artillery in this map so it doesn't make a whole lot of difference but the um, artillery can intervene decisively shall we say along the railway line more easily than they can intervene in the town for the usual reason that, arti or reason that artillery has problems in towns that there's just too many places in arty shadow the other reason I favour going to the town in heavy tanks and well armoured tanks is that you can win the fight in the town Frequently, long before you'll win the fight in along the railway line, uh, again because there's more opportunities for flanking fire, for getting around. Although if you're coming from the northern spawn, you're better off staying on the northern side of the road. If you go south of the road too early, so the main road is just there in front of me. If you go south of that road too early, um, you're the one that can get mobbed by uh, tanks coming up here. Now I w didn't want to hang around shooting at those medium tanks because. The T-10 was up here on its own, and I wanted to give him support as early as possible, because since he was peeking the car there against five enemy tanks. And we have some tanks coming into the town. One of the things you frequently find in uh, live oaks is that one or two tanks from the northern side will go into the town, and if that's the case, you're better off probably not going into the town. Now I've got the T-29 uh, essentially where I want him, now that he's tracked. He can't shoot back at me or pretty much at anybody else, and we can finish him off. The T29 is not the most powerful tank in front of me, but um, sticking my tank out where the T29's free to move would give the T29 chances of an opportunity to get flanking fire into me. So now I can get out, uh, and I just have to face the KV5. But to get back to the generalized discussion, yeah, um, if you find yourself coming towards the town of Live Oaks and you're pretty much on your own, then you're probably better off not going into the town. You're better off uh, finding a spot at the edge of the town where the, you're supported by the tank destroyers there on the hill. And let the enemy tanks come to you uh, so that the people behind on the hill can engage. Um, and in fact you're probably better off staying right back, maybe even behind the railway line, or moving back as early as you can. Of course, sometimes the enemy don't come into the town either. A lot depends on um, the day and on the teams. So, you know, but you have to be sort of you have to take all that into account. The um, we've won the town now. We pretty much wiped out the enemy team because they did come to the town in force, um, and they're still holding their own on the um, down along the railway line. In fact, they're probably winning down along the railway line. However, with the collapse of their position in the town, the advantage is completely in our court and it's now just going to be a fairly straightforward job to mop up the remaining enemy forces. So the T-30 has disappeared, I took a blind shot, took a guess to where he was. I didn't succeed, uh, I need him to become spotted. There's a Waffle Dragon of Panzer IV and done a really good shot at it. I have a better shot of the T 
Torti uh, managed to get a nice hit in there, and of course I leave the reticle pointing at exactly the same spot, fire again, and nothing happens. I think I missed the tank entirely. So uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm not going to get any more action, the remaining light tanks are way off. There's a lot more tanks between me and them. So that's it, that's Live Oaks. Um, wrapped up fairly quickly uh, by basically taking the town. I think part of the reason we took the town there is that we Jump managed to go into the town in force whereas the enemy um, didn't come at us all at once. We were able to break them up into smaller parcels and take them on um, individually in detail so to speak. So over 3000 damage, uh, second class mastery and uh, we've achieved a mark of excellence as well. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you again soon.